welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and in today's video i'm going to be training for my dream megas episode 50 so that means we're halfway in doing our training for my dream megas episode 100 which is really really cool and in this server i'm going to be currently looking to maybe trade my mega neon alarm i'm also going to be looking to trade for a mega neon nessie but I also think that it would be good if I could not trade my Mega Neon hair because I really, really want to keep this. So I think I might lock Flopsy because she's just so, so cute and I recently got her. But to add to my offer for the Mega Neon Nessie, I've got a Mega Neon Quokka and some Neon Legendaries. And I think I've got some other Mega Exotics that are, not for that are for trade that I can add as well. So hopefully I'll be able to get a Mega Neon Nessie if I can find one. So let's go and find the trading tigers. But before we get onto the trading, please remember to like and subscribe so that you can enter my next giveaway and so you'll have all the information about when i'm doing special hangouts in adopt me and when i'm also doing events with my tiger cubs so let's go and find the trading after i've done my quokka's task and i'm also really really excited for the new moonlight moth coming to adopt me this week in the space update comment in the comments if you're excited to try and get the moonlight moth as well because i think it's a really really cool pet like all the other space pets as well so as you can see there's quite a lot of preppy pets here already i see a mega neon lion cub um, and I have already got a trade request from someone called Cami, And I think that they may be a tiger cub. I'm not sure. They said, are you the real one? Yes, I am tiger. Thank you so, so much for being a tiger cub. And I already see that this server is getting busier. A lot of new like mega pets are coming to this server area. So I think like more people are joining already. I already see like some really, really cute pets in this server. And thank you so, so much for being a tiger cub. And I really hope that you get some good trades, but we're just gonna do a sandwich trade at the moment, tigers. Okay, so I also see a neon flower eye frost dragon. That is not an exotic preppy pet, but it's definitely a really, really valuable pet. So that is quite cool. And we've already got another trade request, which is really, really cool. And this is a tiger cub as well. Thank you so, so much for being a tiger cub. And I think that they said that we have already actually seen each other in game before as well. Let's look in their profile and see if they have any pets for trade. Or, or actually, they've got a question. They said, do you have an offer? Or if no, um, we can do a trade. Okay, let me see if I have an offer. I could maybe do this mega neon amazon bird and then i could also add a bit more because i am under so i'm going to add my mega neon no potion quokka that i have to add and then i'm just going to see if i have anything else to add as well um let me see <clears throat> and i'm also actually um messaging my friend m gems in the uh, chat right now because we're friends on the drop me and she's like really really rich so sometimes she asks me if there's any pets that i'm looking for because i think that she has like most of the pets in the game so i'm just telling her that i'm looking for maybe some mini pigs and i'm also looking for one more balloon unicorn to make my mega neon balloon unicorn but the person that i'm trading right now says that they really really like my offer so that means that they might do it which is really really cool they might also be checking values to like just see. Look how busy this server has gotten. We haven't even been here in the server for that long. I also see a mega neon strawberry shortcake bat dragon. If I got that pet, then I'd be matching with my one of my besties, Bo, because she has a mega neon strawberry shortcake bat dragon as well. Oh, I think I just saw a mega neon goat and a mega neon cow calf oh okay so i see a regular balloon unicorn maybe i can try and offer for that in a bit and i also see a neon evil unicorn i'm just see i'm just saying like all the pets i see right now um they said this is so hard because i love the amazons but they love their pets as well yeah i know it's really really hard to trade preppy exotic pets especially as they're like all so cute and it's hard to decide like which one you prefer more Oh, and I also see a neon arctic reindeer. Okay, that is a really, really cute pet as well. 
Um, I also see a ring-tailed lemur. Okay, that's quite nice. And a few of you have asked me how I get into these like rich preppy slash exotic servers. And I feel like the best way to get into them is just when you're in a Roplex server, say, or a birthday cake server, if you see like preppy people that are really rich in preppy exotic pets, try and friend them because they will likely be friends with other rich preppy exotic people. And then when those rich preppy exotic people join them, and then you join them, and then your other preppy exotic friends join you, and then their preppy exotic friends join you, it just makes like a whole like gang of preppy exotic people join a server and all hang out together. And then that's how like a preppy rich exotic trading server is made basically so yeah i've also added these koalas but i'm not sure they want to do it um let's just see what they say because we have been in this trade for quite a while now so after this trade we're gonna go and try and offer for a different pet it's very tempting i just haven't fully like um decided if they want to trade this so they want to think yeah of course you can think because i understand that it's like hard to trade your favorite pets in the jump me so thank you so much for letting me offer and now i'm just gonna go and teleport to m's gems so i can try and offer for some of her mini pigs and balloon unicorns oh but they said that they want to give me something that is so nice of you thank you so so much our oh, ribbon seals okay they're really cute thank you a lot i do currently have some ribbon seals and i did actually give the first place winner her Maganeon no potion show pony which means i just need to give the second place winner their king bees and uh, majestic pony and then i need to give the third place winner the neon rideable ribbon seal so if you were a winner please um reply to the community post i did but if they like don't want to claim their prize then i might pick different winners tigers so yeah now i'm just offering for ems gems's neon balloon unicorn because she didn't have a regular which is okay i'm still gonna try and offer for her neon so i've added three regular ones a mega neon quokka and also some koalas so she can make a neon. I'm gonna say that I can do this, but I'm not sure if she's gonna wanna do it. But also congratulations on 22K M's gems. That is so, so much. And you definitely, definitely should definitely have that much and even more because you're such, such, such a good content creator. And I'm pretty sure that she has like an account where she posts like a lot of shorts and stuff. But I'm going to offer for her mini pig now because she has a no potion mini pig. And I'm definitely looking for some because if I can't trade for mega then I think I want to make a mega. So I'm going to offer four koalas for it. I mean, she did say she could give it for free, but I don't really want to take it for free. Oh, she said take it. Okay, if you insist, that is really, really nice of you, Ems. Thank you so, so much because I really, really like the mini pigs. Mini pigs. And also, uh, my mom, Toffee, she also has a mini pig and they're just really, really cute. I'm not too sure how I feel about the neon one because I just, I just don't know, but I definitely like the mega one. That one's really cute. Okay, so now we've already got another trade request. So let's just see what they have to offer. Oh, I think they're a tiger cub. Yeah, I think they are definitely a tiger cub. Thank you so, so much for being a cub. I really appreciate it. And also, I think they're looking for some like preppy slash exotic pets at the moment. So I could see in my inventory if I have any of them for trade that they're looking for. Oh, they said that they've met um, me before in game, but we didn't get to like trade or talk. That's okay. I'm going to give them a um, pet from my inventory. I think I'm going to give them a tiger. They have a lot of trade histories in their profile, which is really cool. I think they were definitely over for that shortcake back dragon I just saw on their trade, but that's okay because, I mean, if it was their favorite pet, then they should have still definitely done the trade. Oh, okay, so there is the Mega Neon Go. I'm going to try and trade this um, person after this trade so I can offer for the Mega Neon Go. Because even though I'm looking for a Mega Neon Nessie, I mean, I don't mind offering for a Mega Neon Go either because they're both just really cute and they're both also, also like around the same value. So let me see if I have a tiger to give them because I would definitely like to give them a tiger. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to give them this otter instead because I don't think I have any tigers for trade at the moment. But yeah, thank you so much for being a fan and thank you so much for training me. Oh, thank you so, so much. Thank you. I really, really appreciate any of you tigers that subscribe because it really, really helps my channel out. Oh, okay. They want to give me this beta. Oh, okay. Thank you so, so much because I don't have many of the space pets yet. But thank you so much to Mimi who gave me two of the Mega Neil space pets, which are absolutely incredible and so, so cute. And they were actually like the really, really expensive, expensive ones as well. So thank you so, so much, Olivia, if you're watching this. Oh, I'm with another tiger cub. Yay. Okay, there's so many tiger cubs right now. And they also have like a lot of pets in their profile that they're looking for. So I'm going to see if I have any of them to add into the trade. Hmm, I would like to offer for their pets, but I'm not sure if I can because I'm like kind of low on offers right now. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to find anything in my inventory that will be like good enough to offer. I'm still looking to see if I can see a Mega Neon, like, um, a Mega Neon Nessie, because I haven't seen a Mega Neon Nessie yet. So, I would really like to try and find one to offer for. Okay, but this person also has a Balloon Unicorn, so I can try and offer for this, because I only need one more at the moment to make Mega Neon. Now, this Mega Quokka is actually fair, or maybe it's slightly under, or slightly over, I can't actually... Um, I don't actually know the exact value right now, but it's nearly fair for a balloon unicorn. So I wonder if they'll like to do this for it. Oh, they said that they don't really like the quokka, but that's okay. I understand because not everyone likes the same pets, obviously. But thank you so much for letting me offer. Yeah, we can definitely still do a trade. Let me see what I have to add in the trade. Okay, let me give them a sandwich, but if they add in a pet, I'm going to give them a pet as well. Oh, okay, a magma snail. Okay, let me see what I have to put in the trade for that. Okay, I'm going to add in this arctic hair at the moment. Hopefully they like this pet because we're going to do this trade. Oh, okay, I see a Mega Neon Mini Pig. There's a Mega Neon Mini Pig on someone called Poppy. So I'm going to try and trade her before I trade this other person that sent me a trade request. And ask Poppy if her Mega Neon Mini Pig is for trade because I'm going to try and offer for it. And I'm also going to say that I have switches to my offer in case she wants me to switch anything. Because basically, I'm trying to keep the Mega Neon hair. So instead of adding in the Mega Neon hair, I'm adding in the Mega Neon Rideable Lamb. Which is actually not as valuable as the Mega Neon hair. The value is a bit less. Not by much, but I think like the Mega Neon hair is 22. And the, no, the Mega Neon Lamb is 22, sorry. And then the Mega Neon hair is 28. So it's like worth a bit more. So yeah, hopefully they do this trade. They said, I don't know, but then they said, do you have small ads? So that means they might be interested. So I actually can add this regular mini pig thanks to M's Gems. And they said, I think I'll do that. So M's Gems, if you're watching this, then I'm getting this trade all thanks to you. All thanks to you. So thank you so much, M's. And thank you so much, Poppy, for doing this trade with me. I really, really appreciate it. Because this also means that I might be getting closer to getting a Mega Neon Goat or a Mega Neon Nessie. Even though this mini pig is really cute, so I don't know if I can trade it. But yeah, I'll see. I'll see if I trade it for a Mega Neon Nessie or a Mega Neon Goat Tigers. 
So in this Trading for My Dream Megas video, we did actually get one of our really cool mega pets. We got a mega neon mini pig named Maisie, which is really, really cute. So let me know in the comments if you think that trade was a win, fair or lose tigers. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos. And make sure to join me later at 8pm UK time if you would like to join Tiger Cup Hangout out and trade me in game now i don't do tiger cup hangout all the time i don't do it like every 8 p.m but you know i'll do it sometimes because if i did it every time then maybe you guys wouldn't like it as much because it would just be kind of like casual you know so yeah i really hope that you enjoy tigers and i'll see you all in the next video bye tigers